cutting. It's getting later in the day. Sun's starting to think about setting. I'll uh, probably get a couple, maybe two more hours of daylight. Uh, we're getting close on this field. Uh, they're going to bring supper out, but we're going to try and cut until after dark. The moisture's hanging in there good. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, haven't videoed much today while I'm running. I'm having to run the old fashioned way without the uh, auto steer. So it's a little harder to video and steer and run everything I need to. about 8 30 it's dark uh, got the truck full and I think tomorrow we're gonna drop this head off the combine and put the corn head on and go up north and cut corn it's got two circles of corn so I thought he only had one but he changed things up on me he has two up there now and if you can tell even though we had a frost last week we still got bugs if you can see in the headlights of my combine they're on the outside, I'm on the inside, so they're not bothering me. But I gotta go outside here in a minute to get to my pickup and go home. All those red lights in the background, those are the wind towers that I've been showing you. Uh, that's what they look like at night, because each one of them has a red blinking light. So you can see them for miles and miles around. Here we are, all shut down. The new combines have a f function that when you turn the key off, they turn certain lights on and leave them on for a few minutes so you have time to get off the machine and get to your pickup. And it's quiet, you can hear the crickets in the distance. And there is the moon. I think it was a full moon last night. I think it's just a little on the back side of being a full moon. And there's all the wind tower blinking lights. Okay, it's Tuesday, October 15th. After running around, making a lot of repairs this morning on some things that needed repaired. And then finished getting the combine changed over for corn. We started about 2 o'clock this afternoon to cut the corn. Actually closer to 3 I believe. It is uh, about 6.30 in the evening now. The uh, the hustle of food we're getting, getting across it pretty good. Uh, I can already sent two, two trucks to town. Yes, two trucks are down already. Working on filling everything up so we're ready for, uh, to fill him up again when he gets back. So, running uh, two grain carts, one grain cart driver. Basically, I fill up the one grain cart and then he goes over and puts it in the other one to hold it until the truck gets back and then the truck driver dumps the one on there and the grain cart driver dumps the other one on the truck. Works pretty good. I've had to stop. Looks like I got to stop right now because I just alarm just went off. I got a full bin. I uh, probably can't see him. He's way out there in the distance. And he's there, right there. Right there. You can just see the tops of both grain carts. He's still dumping in it, so I got to wait. That was my one of my mini alarms. Just a quiet morning out here. It is Thursday, 
October 17th. Forgetting what day it is. Getting the first one out here to get ready for the day. We did cut yesterday. I didn't get any chance to video. We just got busy and everything was clicking and we hit it hard. We ended up going till late last night. Well, 9.30, but well after dark. And uh, so it was after 10 before I got home. Back out here already at 8 o'clock this morning, getting ready to service and get ready to go again. We knocked out about two-thirds of a circle of corn yesterday because everything just started clicking. We didn't get it started as early as we wanted, but after we did, it started clicking. Just a beautiful, quiet morning out here. This will be the last day I'll be helping them. I got to go back to my real job tomorrow. Actually, it might be less the work than what I've been doing the past few days, even though all I've been doing is sitting. But... It takes more out of you think to sit there and run a combine to 8, 10, 12 hours a day. So, anyway, I'll try to get some footage today. But uh, if we get busy and get to clicking, I may not. So, just uh, let me know what's going on.